Okay, that's wonderful. It's uh, it's strange talking uh, without any any kind of audio coming back, so you're never quite sure if people are uh, hearing you. Not too loud, everything okay? Great, fantastic. Okay, um, let me just, uh, because I don't seem to be able to move my uh, slides, I'm just trying to figure out how to do that. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, very good. So I'll just uh, move up this back to uh, where they should be. It's taking a little bit of time. So uh, ignore these. And um, and uh, I, I like I said, uh, I mentioned I'm, um, I'm very happy to see uh, so many people here and uh, getting up so early, obviously very motivated. Um, okay, great. Uh, I was looking forward to an introduction uh, uh, from Jason, uh, it's always nicer, and he's so enthusiastic and and uh, and dynamic. So um, unfortunately, I will have to introduce myself, which I've already done a little bit uh, through uh, through the chat. Uh, my name is Paul Maglione. I was born in New York City. I have double uh, citizenship, uh, American and Italian, and uh, I currently live in uh, Paris, France. I was living in London, and then Belgium, and then. And then Italy, and uh, I've also lived in Asia. Um, I was born in the USA in New York City, so that, that's why I have a slight, a slight East Coast accent. Okay, so um, I was uh, today's uh, session is all about um, uh, using video and ESL. And I'm just pausing here because I want to keep track of the time. Um, I don't know if uh, you have been able to log on to English Attack. It's free to log on. Uh, it's uh, what we call a, a freemium site, which means that there is some content on there for free and uh, others that uh, are, are, are uh, require subscription. But what we do is we put three free contents per week on there. One is a video lesson. One is a... Uh, the, and then there's a, uh, all the games that go with them. And the games are dynamically driven by the content. So this week, for example, we try to always have clips from uh, things which are very current. So for example, this week's free uh, video lesson is uh, from the Hunger Games, the, the sequel to the Hunger Games. And then uh, we also have a visual dictionary on uh, Thanksgiving, as Thursday is uh, Thanksgiving. Um, okay. okay, so let's get into the heart of the matter, which is using entertainment video in EFL. Uh, and this is really meant for general audiences. It's not business English. It's not English for a special purpose. But it is for uh, the, the, the sort of mass market uh, average learner. Our lessons, uh, our, sorry, our experience with this are um, that um, in, at the beginning of 2009, when we decided to do something, um, because my co-founder and I have uh, backgrounds in media and, uh, and communication and entertainment. And we wanted to do something in education. We always uh, thought very strongly that uh, education was ripe for a technology revolution. And of course, with our video backgrounds, we wanted to do something in video. So we started looking at all the sites which were starting to use uh, video. Uh, we reviewed them all, we compared them all. And, uh, and then we determined that uh, what was really lacking was something quite entertainment oriented, quite fun. Uh, and, and really uh, aimed at um, learners, not so much children, but you know, and anywhere from early teens through to uh, people in their 40s, 50s, whatever. Um, so, really, so really a broad audience, but um, which would appreciate you know, current, current movies, current uh, TV shows, music videos, and so on. And, so, and, and, and in fact, here you see in the, uh, in the screenshot, of the of the video lessons, and then the uh, the most recent ones are, are, are always at the at the top of the list. Um, we created uh, English Attack as a company in two thousand nine uh, for all of uh, really two thousand ten um, and and early two thousand eleven. We were in beta test uh, with about twenty five thousand users around the world, uh, and, at, and at that point, our catalog was about three hundred and fifty video lessons. We launched the site officially. We came out of beta. Mid 2011, we launched the uh, subscription uh, plan and, and the sort of full commercial version of the site, as well as the teachers and schools platform, uh, early January of last year. And uh, this month, uh, we, we crossed the threshold of 1,000 video lessons. 
and we also launched our coaching functionality, which we will take a brief look at later on. Um, now, why that video was, was a, such an interesting way to teach languages and to teach English? Um, first of all, uh, our, our, our human brains, you know, the human brain and, and animal brains, in fact, are wired uh, for video because it, it, is, it, is the, it is the visual sense, it is what's around you, uh, it, it captures movement, and, and, the, and this really comes from our very earliest uh, you know, genetic coding, which is a uh, you know, response to, to danger or, or, or it is uh, you know, assistance in, in hunting and obtaining food. So you know, video is, is the medium which is the closest to life and to human experience. It's both uh, audio and visual. Uh, the human eye is attracted to movement uh, for the reasons we've, uh, uh, we, we've just mentioned, even more than our ears are, are, uh, are attuned to sound. Uh, and I'd say what, uh, what, what's interesting is that in, in this age that we're living through now, this, this digital age, uh, video, and particularly short-term video, is absolutely ubiquitous. I have two teenage um, children, one 13 and one 17, and without YouTube, without video, without Snapchat, without all these, without all these platforms, Facebook, you know, which is very video intensive, um, you know, that's how they that's how they function. That's how they learn. Uh, if they have to learn uh, uh, how to use some new uh, software, presentation software, how to do something on on on, on iTunes or, 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 or iMovie or whatever it is, immediately they'll go and look for a video. Um, but you know, they, they simply don't. Uh, use instruction manuals anymore, and that. they don't use dictionaries. They're always looking for um, uh, video. Um, so whatever you think of that, that is that is, that is the situation. And, and so short-term video is something which is now very much in, in the culture of today's digital learner. So we come to the the, the first question, which, um, which which many of you have answered very completely, and I'm very impressed by your answers. Which is okay. What kind of video should it be graded? Should it be made specifically? For, uh, for the learner, or should it be authentic? And your responses are, are very good. Most of the uh, I, I, I tend to agree. We, uh, you know, focus on uh, authentic because there's so much, uh, so much graded video out there, and big operations like British Council and the BBC and so on are making um, good quality graded material all the time. But where we make a difference with our background, with what we had done uh, in our past careers, was in authentic video and in packaging that uh, for learners and, and, and guiding them through the authentic video. Um, so you know, the, the obviously the uh, the advantages of graded are that you can you can target them to specific uh, uh, proficiency levels. You um, you know that you can you can make them very clear, very slow. But of course, um, particularly for today's learners, they can often find them uh, boring, dull, flat. Uh, a danger which, which you start to see in, in teens now is um, they almost resent things which are graded because it's, it's, they see it as condescending. Uh, it's a very common reaction now of, of, of teens and, and some, some young adults, I, I imagine, uh, things which are packaged uh, or, or rather produced, created for learners, are sometimes perceived as, well, why are you, it's like riding a bicycle with training wheels. No, let me just try to ride the bicycle. Um, and, and that's one reaction that we've seen. Um, of course, authentic video is, is, is what so many people are about. It, it, uh, it actually opens up the condition for learning because it sparks emotion. And we know that uh, that's the gateway to learning is, is, is when you're, you know, uh, Jason talks about engagement. Uh, your senses are open. You're interested. Your eyes are, are wide open. Um, and uh, and the other the other thing is is choice. Um, when we have a a wide range of, of choice in terms of, of the uh, of the learning materials and particularly the authentic learning materials, then we gravitate to the things that, that interest us most. You know, some of us might be into action movies. Some of us might be into love. some of us might, might miss to make the effort to negotiate meeting. On the other hand, uh, something like authentic video is very hard to 
then kind of um, uh, format into into things which fit with sort of uh, grading structures like the Common European Framework. Um, and you also have to be careful that it's not too short, it's not too long, uh, it's not too difficult, uh, and that you are providing the right kind of uh, assistance. Um, our experience, so our experience since, since late 2009 when we started doing our first testing and then the beta, beta testing in 2010, all the way through to this year, uh, in terms of popularity, people like current movies the, the most, uh, they enjoy TV series, music videos comes a strong third, almost equal with TV series, uh, documentaries, and then uh, how-to videos. Uh, of which we have about 20, on, 20 or 30 on the site. Surprisingly for us, news was not so uh, popular, maybe because it ages very fast. It's very hard to find news items which are not then almost irrelevant or, or sound like old news the week later. Other areas, so I mentioned news. Of course, business is uh, in high demand, and uh, here too we take an entertainment approach uh, we try and find scenes from typical business situations, whether they be interviews, meetings, confrontations, uh, plans, whatever. Uh, and, and we find those work very well to start introducing uh, typical business English vocabulary and usage. And then, um, not to be neglected, I mean, there is some fantastic advertising out there. Uh, we're not trying to help people sell products, but uh, Advertising is among the most creative and, and well-produced short-form video out there, and therefore, when there is, you know, when there are especially entertaining or interesting uh, television ads, like like you see in the Super Bowl, we tend to take the best of those and, and propose those as video lessons. Um, on the bottom, we see choice, which equals autonomy, which equals motivation. It was very important for us when we were thinking about the pedagogical basis uh, of English today. That you know, motivation uh, is something that uh, can be lacking in learners, particularly learners who are forced to be in an English class, whether it's because of their school or their company or whatever. And therefore, um, we wanted to use entertainment, online entertainment, and, and, and entertainment video in particular uh, as motivation, and, and give people the autonomy to move around among those units uh, so that they had choice and that those things working together to create an engaged learner who was interested and who could find things that, uh, that motivated them. Um, in terms of our experience, we found that the ideal length uh, was about, about between one and three minutes. Uh, anything shorter than that, and, and, um, you know, and there is a lot of video which is shorter than that out there in places like YouTube or whatever, but there's little chance to build up the dialogue uh, in context, so, so it's very hard to to, to, to make a, a meaningful sort of a concatenation of sentences. Too long, and there's too many uh, linguistic elements. Um, and it's interesting to note that the average length of a YouTube video is just over three minutes, and that 87% of video shared on Facebook is between one and four minutes long. So there's sort of one to three minute uh, uh, time period, which is what we use, is very much the social network and video sharing uh, typical length. In terms of the difficulty level, we actually have four of them on the site. We actually started with three, and then we added one at the request of a, a Brazilian language school, uh, which we have a very uh, big contract with, because it's over several schools that they have throughout, uh, throughout Brazil. Um, they wanted a, a sort of a, a very basic level. So we originally had easy, intermediate, and advanced, and we have now added beginner. Uh, and we grade the videos based on a number of parameters. Um, clearly, the subject matter, uh, the vocabulary, but very importantly, the speech speed, um, something with the dialogue which is happening very fast, is harder to follow, of course, particularly for a beginner, uh, than, than, than something which is slow and clear. The clarity of the speech, uh, which can depend on, on a number of things, uh, ambient noise, uh, the quality of the recording, um, things like that, how many people are speaking at the same time. Accent, of course, some accents are easier to follow than others. Idioms. Uh, You'll find, and, and, and this is remarkable if you really start paying attention to it, that um, when you compare graded material with almost any, any clip from a movie or, 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 or a song or a TV series, 
um, you know, the degree of use of idioms and slang uh, is four or five times higher in the authentic video. Um, so, so, you know, as that's the kind of language that learners will be exposed to and that they have to cope with, um, we find entertainment video an excellent way of um, making them familiar with that. But of course, again, the more of it th there is, the harder the video will be to, uh, to interpret and, and, uh, and decipher. So, you know, are there visual clues that help the meaning? Uh, and is there a story or an understandable context? And then, of course, the trick is that the, video, that the exercises, the language ex exercises, which are tacked on to the clip, um, are easier or, or more difficult depending on the uh, judge difficulty level of the video itself. So obviously, for a beginner video, we won't select the hardest words uh, in, in, the, in the transcript. Uh, we'll go for easy words and so on, uh, all the way through to, uh, uh, to the more advanced levels. Um, but what we find is that, is that even people who, I guess you would, you would, you would call beginner or, 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 or lower intermediate, um, you know, their, their main concern, their, 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 their main interest is, is, is the content. Uh, and it, even if we label something as being intermediate or, or, or advanced, um, they are keen on the content and they will cope with the difficulty in their own way. Uh, you know, we have a scoring system on the video lessons, the top score is 3,000. Uh, on average, people should be doing around 1,800, 2,200, um, but they really, they really don't mind uh, getting a lower score if they're very keen on the uh, on the particular subject matter. Um, and just as an example, um, you know, we, we compared two um, uh, two search terms. Uh, this is in French, of course, learning English and uh, uh, songs in English, and you see the difference in search results. People are interested in content, even in the context of, of, of language learning. Um, subtitles was, uh, was uh, you know, one of the subject matters, and, and there's a lot of divergent uh, opinion on this. And I posted also in the in the in the um, in the thread uh, a blog post from a few years ago. Our own view is that uh, English can be all right. Uh, particularly for, for very basic uh, beginners. But, you know, our view is that uh, reading and, and, and listening are, are, are really two different brain functions, and therefore they uh, interfere with, with each other when they're, uh, when they're used simultaneously. Um, subtitling in L1 is, is, is not so interesting. And uh, we feel that the best, uh, the best approach is to actually provide no subtitling at the moment that the video is being viewed for the first times, uh, we provide a transcript la later on, but um, we, we really don't think that um, simultaneous exposure to the text and to the video um, is the best way to learn for the, for the reasons that we mentioned in the blog post, uh, and mainly for, for uh, neuro-linguistic uh, reasons. Um, so we do uh, provide the video transcript, and the way we do that is through a listening exercise, which we'll see in just a moment. Uh, and we provide this not, not only to, to, to help with some comprehension, but really to work reading skills subsequently to the, uh, to the listening skills. Uh, and, and we do this um, by presenting the um, exercise after the gist comprehension exercise. Uh, and uh, it's actually quite useful for detailed comprehension and to practice scanning. So that's not something you can do with, uh, with subtitles, but you can, following the initial exposures to the, uh, to the video, uh, presenting the transcript and then asking questions requiring them to scan the, tra the transcript is a very nice way to, to sequence uh, reading and, and scanning uh, on the back of, um, of uh, audiovisual uh, comprehension. Uh, and therefore, you're buttressing the development of, of your listening skills. Okay, the, the, the main point that I want to make today is that just because it's, 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 it's entertainment video and it's a nice entertainment clip and it's great actors and it's a fun story, it doesn't mean that you uh, can just leave it at that. A, a video-based lesson has to be structured as carefully as you would structure any other classroom lesson. Uh, it has to have an objective, it has to have a, uh, an order, a structure, 
uh, and it has to, and, and it really has to um, uh, be linear to the extent that, that, that things happen in a certain order for a certain way. Uh, and the way we've done it is um, we have five main sections in the uh, in, in, in each uh, video exercise. Um, starting with I, six in, in reality, because there is a uh, pure exposure, uh, followed by just comprehension, followed by listening skills, and detailed comprehension script. Uh, we work vocabulary, uh, and then we uh, we we, um, we cover some grammar and usage uh, from within the video. So that's the structure, and it's the same structure across the uh, more than one thousand video lessons. Um, we also then uh, kind of uh, have, have, have these tasks within the wider framework of some pre-task uh, um, uh, resources. And um, what we suggest, uh, we don't have this on the site yet, uh, but we, what we suggested for teachers is, uh, is some post-task functions uh, um, and activities as well. Within the video lesson, we have immediate uh, error feedback, um, but always in a non sort of uh, punishing way. Um, simply, you know, we, 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 we uh, immediate feedback on whether the, 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 the response is the right one or not. And then whatever the score, there's encouraging feedback to, get, to have them keep going. Um, in terms of structuring the video based lesson, uh, again, a very important part of, of um, today's today's generation of learners is, is really to emphasize the positive, um, keep the encouragement levels high, and therefore the simple matter of a, of a, a score versus grade, you know, a score is something which can be seen as something which can uh, continuously be improved. Uh, a grade is, is something which uh, has a cutoff, and you've either, so you're, you're either failing or you're barely succeeding or you're succeeding. And therefore, uh, you know, in the American system, for example, if you get a if you get a D and then you you do twice as good on on, on the test, uh, you get a C uh, because your your score was so low. Um, in, in 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 a pure sort of game type scoring, uh, well, you can always do better, and it's always positive, and it's always adding to your points total. So the gamification aspect of, of what we do is an important part of the of the method. Um, so we so so in addition, there's you know when we talk about packaging the video for learners, obviously there are there there, there are some words that they are going to come across which they don't know. Um, we don't want to translate, but we do pro provide a word for word translation if they really get stuck on things. So there's always the uh, and and we do this in, in any 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 language they want. So there there's always the possibility of of, uh, of, of finding out uh, what a particular word means. Um, and then um, for teachers, we thought about this, and, and, and you know, and we, we, we saw the opportunity to allow teachers to use these because we do feel you know we designed English attack from, from from day one to be complementary to a classroom instruction. Um, you know, ideally, you'd have a situation where perhaps uh, the, the the students are 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 doing an exercise uh, at home or, or, or on the way to, 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 to the school or whatever. And then the discussion part uh, actually happens in the classroom. So you have most of the interactivity and, and human element in the classroom, and then the exposure to the to the content uh, outside of the uh, classroom. So obviously, you can use it uh, as a uh, as a whiteboard, and you, you can project uh, or use a whiteboard and, and do it as a whole class exercise. Or you know, there's a there's a there's in the teacher tools. There's also a homework assignment uh, tool where you can assign specific videos with ex with specific instructions, uh, and you can assign games and and, uh, and visual dictionaries as well. Um, and of course, uh, on the side, as you'll see, we try to make uh, video-based learning social as much as possible. You can post comments on, on individual videos and what you thought of them. Uh, we have a Facebook page with uh, over 110,000 um, uh, fans. We regularly uh, tweet about the free content of the week on Twitter, and so on. Um, that brings us, I think, nearly to the end of, uh, of, of this part. We'll switch over now, uh, and we'll go through a full exercise to give you uh, an idea uh, of, of the whole pace and, and, uh, and sequencing.
Is everyone okay? Is everyone uh, following me? Am I speaking too fast, as I often tend to do? Uh, or can everyone understand me? Lovely, lovely. Well, you are a fantastic, fantastic audience. Um, okay, let's go through uh, a sample video lesson, which is the lesson which is free on the site this week. So anyone in the world can, can actually do this for free. All they have to do is create a free account on the site, which takes a, a couple clicks. Um, okay, this is the this is the free task. Uh, what they have is they have a clip summary in English, um, which is a sort of warm up. Uh, they have on the left uh, the target vocabulary, and there are never more than eight of these. Typically, the minimum of, of six and maximum of eight on the target vocabulary, and and each one has a an audio file and a definition. Uh, there is instruction, uh, and, and we have 23 languages on the site, so the, uh, the, actual, uh, the actual navigation and instruction of exercises can be in, in, uh, in, in the learner's L1 if they prefer, or they can switch to English. Um, so you, this is the, the overall video lesson setup, and then the next step is actually the first exposure. Uh, and, and we... Um, so there's no there, there's no other there, there's no subtitling obviously there's there's no other distraction. All they have to do is play through the video, and through the player they can start, pause, and replay it as often as they want. So they they can play it through once. They can really get familiar with it. But they are this is this is a pure exposure phase. Uh, and then we go through to the first uh, the first of the exercises, which is a gist comprehension exercise called survival test. We call it survival test because we're providing no no assistance other than a, a, a vocabulary resource, uh, and therefore they're surviving on their own in trying to understand what's going on in the video. And we design this um, in a way so that the questions that we're asking are quite basic, quite simple. Um, you can sort of guess uh, some of them using the visual clues, uh, the tone of voice, and so on, and some of the vocabulary. And we do that really as a sort of confidence-boosting uh, way to get into the video lesson. Um, it's very important that for us that uh, learners understand that they don't have to understand every word in, 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 in a video or in a conversation. In the same way that I'm, if I'm English mother tongue, I will often go to a movie and there's some dialogue where I'm not picking up 100%. I may be picking up 80% or even 70% but I can still more or less piece together what's going on. And we've tried to replicate that here. Um, you then, so you then go into this uh, first just comprehension exercise. There is the, uh, there are four, there's a sequence of four just questions, instant error correction, optional word pool, word translation tool. On the left here, you can play the video again, as often as you want, even as you're answering the, 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 the questions. Uh, and there's a vocabulary uh, resource, which again covers the six to eight uh, key vo vocabulary items in the video. So you go through the, the sequence, you uh, answer them one by one. At the end of those four questions, you have a first interstitial score, 150. You have a sort of encouraging uh, you know, feedback on, on your progress, and then you're encouraged to, to go on, the, on to the next uh, exercise. Um, listening lab, this is a listening exercise where we're, it, it's a fill the gaps exercise, but with three options which sound uh, quite, quite similar. So they have to listen very carefully and also, uh, you know, see what, what is logical. So sound and, and, and sort of comprehension logic uh, work at the same time. Uh, and through doing this, they are actually completing the transcript. So it's an interesting exercise for them where they're actually helping complete the lesson through their own work. Uh, once that's over, again, there's an intermediate score and they go on to the next section. Um, and this is the detailed, um, the detailed uh, comprehension part of the uh, lesson. Quiz challenge very carefully to the video or to scan the transcript. 
And so I said we're working both uh, listening skills and and reading slash scanning skills uh, across these two questions. Uh, again, even if they fail, uh, you know there is an encouraging feedback to go on to the next section. And here uh, on, on on this uh, this part, which is the penultimate uh, exercise, um, what we do is we create we we test for comprehension of the target vocabulary by creating a paragraph in a similar context. So it's not exactly the same, but the 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 print, the, 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 the logic. Uh, the, the, the types of meaning are very similar to what is in the video. And, and, and therefore, uh, there's only five, so, so again, they're, they're, they, they can't simply fill in the gaps, um, but they have to pick the right words. And they have, the, in the vocabulary um, tool, they can, again, review exactly what is meant. And one, one way, important thing, um, we will define the vocabulary only in the con in the way that it's used contextually in the video. So where a word may have three, four, five different meanings, we only give the meaning the meaning which is in the video, uh, and therefore we redo the vocabulary uh, for each video uh, exercise, even though we may have defined that word uh, for other video lessons. And 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 and, and everything else in the, in the site is also contextual. Uh, there's, there's never a separate word list not connected to a piece of content, for example. Uh, again, so the, this is the feedback on, on, the, uh, on the vocabulary exercise. And then we go to uh, grammar. And the way we try and do grammar, it's not easy to do, but we try to avoid the use of uh, grammatical vocabulary. Uh, we feel that it, it, makes, uh, it makes things even more uh, difficult or confusing. And it's really uh, usage-based. Essentially, what we do is we we take a um, uh, on the left here. What did they say? Uh, we take um, something directly from the transcript, and then we uh, we we explain why did they say it that way. And, and we it's really a sort of a contextual explanation of usage rather than grammatical rules. And then we give four exercises. Which just uh, you know repeat that principle and drill that principle so they so they so they understand what, what we mean by it. Once they go through that, uh, again they get to the final score. Final score giving a, a breakdown of, of, of all the intermediate scores, the, the points total on the final score, and then um, on the right here we see uh, what, what we have introduced quite recently. Which is the the coaching functionality. So we have a, a sort of gauge called the learnometer, um, which goes from one to a hundred, and uh, which, which gives the learner feedback on on uh, how uh, how well they they they've absorbed the lesson. Uh, and you can keep working that score through repetition and through doing the uh, learning games, which are connected to the uh, to the video exercise, and they are also connected to the visual dictionaries. With a progression metric, so for example, um, what you're asked to do, if I just go back here, um, you'll see in the in, in the little white box, uh, okay, complete the video uh, booster with making no mistakes. That that gives you 50 points. For 25 points, complete two word rescue games with no mistakes, and for another 25 points, you get you complete one swap mania game. And we'll see what what we mean. This is the swap mania game. So again, we're, it is dynamically driven by the target vocabulary in the video exercise. It's a letter swapping game. Again, they have the definition, uh, and uh, when they complete the word, they have the sample sentence as well. And this is the word rescue game, where again they have the definition, and they can. Uh, it, it's more of a hangman type game mechanic. Uh, we also have a, a third type of game. There's five games in, in, in total on the site. But the third kind of listening skills and comprehension game is something called Say What. And this is like a video karaoke game where they actually have to listen to the clip uh, and then type in the, the missing words from the target vocabulary. So you're working uh, listening skills, vocabulary, and spelling at the same time. Uh, and then we get to, to you know where teachers come in and, and, and where they can really use, and, and this is this is probably the most important and, and interesting part. 
you know, all of, all of what we've seen really gets the learner comfortable with some vocabulary, maybe with some grammar usage, uh, builds up confidence to follow uh, a dialogue and understand a storyline. But then, uh, you know, what we wanted to do is to spark discussion. Uh, and, and in any of these clips, there's always two or three interesting open questions which can be brought to the attention of the learner and, and, and create scope for a class discussion. So, for example, and, and this is one of the things that I will suggest to you as a post-task to, uh, to this online lesson, is to uh, expose your own learners to the clip, uh, which will be free for the rest of this week all the way through to next Monday. So simply have them serve the week. And then uh, perhaps these questions in class. Uh, you know, this may not, you know, some of these may be more appropriate for, 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 for older learners, not, not the very youngest ones, but, you know, you can, you can replace these uh, with others that you think of. But, for example, uh, in the clip, they talk about uh, Katniss, you know, who is a sort of a combat performer in this, in, in this sort of very uh, arena-type game, uh, and, uh, and, and her, uh, her coach, her, her sort of confidant, tells her that her real role is to be a distraction for this very dictatorial society to keep the people happy. Um, the, the, you know, the clip also deals with rebellion, and, and, uh, and rebellion is being, is, 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 there, there's a lot of, of course, a world and, and, and what creates unrest in, in a population or in a society. Uh, and uh, the clip also talks about mentors, and that's a very interesting uh, concept. You know, who, who, who is your mentor? Have you ever had a mentor? Uh, and so on. Um, you know, we, we have always been uh, very, very pleased at, the, at the, the user feedback, both on the site generally and on the video boosters in particular. Uh, you know, we, we, we get feedback all the time. You know, people people write in, they, they say, I, I love this, this clip, or, you know, this, this meant so much to me, or I'm so happy I got a perfect score, and so on. Um, so, so it is, it, you know, the feedback is important. Uh, they feel that this is uh, is theirs. Um, this is not being imposed on them by some textbook company or, 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 or some publisher, um, publisher, and they make it theirs. They can't comment on it. They share it, uh, and, uh, and and therefore um, we're very pleased at the the, the general uh, attitude they have towards towards this. Um, and just uh, one more thing on the co coaching functionality, which is again the uh, the. the we, we, we then measure, so this can be used again totally for free. Uh, we measure the progress on both the uh, free video lesson of the week and the free visual dictionary of the week, and then we give them tasks uh, so that they can get to the 100% uh, the memorized um, level on these, uh, on these units. So um, to conclude, uh, the lesson, really, in uh, our conclusions, having done this now for uh, nearly four years, <clears throat> is is that you know we think video powerful uh, stimulus to learning uh, because it, it it uses emotion to, to open the pathway to learning. We think that short format authentic video without subtitles can be highly motivational and uh, and quite effective uh, in in building uh, language skills. Um, we do, however, think that uh, you have to be very careful in how you use these. They should be they should be structured and planned just as as carefully as with any uh, lesson with uh, pre tasks and post tasks. Use using it uh, communicatively, having a natural flow from the exposure to the uh, tasks and, and and through to the uh, this the discussion. And um, you know we are not the only. Uh, one out there doing this, but we've been doing it for some time. We feel that uh, uh, you know, we're working with a number of schools and universities and even companies um, because it's very affordable. Uh, we have a huge range of content. We, we publish a new video lesson every day. We publish a new uh, visual dictionary every four or five days. So the catalog is always growing and it's always extremely current. Um, and uh, very importantly, um, you can contact me anytime. Um, that's my email address. 
for schools and in English Attack for companies, English Attack for independent teachers. Um, in terms of finding the site, just Google it with the first thing that shows up when you, when you type in English Attack. Uh, if you type in English Attack blog, um, that's a lot of our pedagogical um, thinking, which is on there. And if you go on SlideShare and just uh, type in English Attack for schools or English Attack for companies, there's a, a much more exhaustive explanation of uh, how the system can be used um, in the classroom or for, for schools and for company training purposes. Um, we're also on Facebook, obviously, just type in English Attack in the search bar, and uh, on Twitter, oh, two, two Twitter accounts. There's at Paul Maglione, um, which I'll just type in here, I guess. Uh, that's my, that's my, that's my uh, personal one, and then there's, there's of course, uh, and you can, you can just follow those. Uh, and uh, and you'll get you know updates on the whatever it is that we find uh, interesting. Um, just one 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 word on on the actual uh, uh, source of the material. We use a copyright cleared uh, material both uh, with Creative Commons commercial use for the visual dictionaries and uh, specially cleared um, uh, promotional. Clips um, for the video, which 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 we know how to source because we've done that in in other in in, in our past. Um, so I would just encourage you to uh, get in touch with me. We do have special packages uh, available um, through through this uh, lesson. So if you contact me direct, uh, you can get a, uh, a, a quite interesting discount on uh, English Attack for yourself as a, as a teacher or for your class. Um, so don't go through the don't go through the site itself. Uh, contact me either through the contact form or directly through email or or or, um, uh, or, or through the uh, well, through the email or Twitter or whatever, and 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 um, you know explain to me what your situation is, how many students, how how many learners, and so on, and um, and I'd be very happy to to tell you more and to to, to give you a special offer and. Um, I guess I'll just throw it open to any specific questions now, uh, since Jason is not here to, to take another five minutes in terms of giving giving me uh, any questions you have. Let me just we designed the games ourselves. Yes, we. Um, we have uh, experience in game design, so we have designed all five games ourselves, and we will continue to roll out new games uh, certainly next year. Answer that question. Unfortunately, you cannot download these videos for offline use. Uh, the conditions of use are that they are uh, online, and uh, so there's no downloading possible. Unfortunately, um, however, the site is compatible with all smartphones and tablets. Uh, it takes us about 45 minutes to prepare a video lesson. Um, obviously, the first ones took longer, but you know we're now having done more than a thousand. Um, we work with freelance teachers. In fact, if you are interested in, in creating a video lesson for us, uh, we pay for these. So again, if you're interested in making a little extra money by uh, creating either a visual dictionary or a video lesson, please let me know and I'll set you up with a uh, with a contributor account uh, and you can take a crack at those. And we have a, uh, a very intuitive, you, you need no technical skills at all. We have a very intuitive sort of wizard type interface. So please get in touch. Then yes, I'd like to I'd like to try doing a video lesson, please. Yeah, that's right. Um, the each video each video lesson which we publish on Monday, which is the free video lesson of the week, is free for for anyone uh, until the following uh, you know Monday two a.m. Paris time, uh, and then and then it goes into the 
uh, catalog of uh, more than 1,000 video lessons, together with all the visual dictionaries and games, which are available for um, for uh, subscription. And the subscription is very affordable. Literally, it's less than a uh, less than the cost of a pack of cigarettes per month. Um, and uh, of course, the prices for schools are, are lower uh, for modern deals. No, and you can certainly, oh, if you're a subscriber, you can, you can, you can, you can use anything on the site. Uh, and the subs you have the option in subscription, you can uh, subscribe to, uh, for a month and then it's renewed monthly until you stop it. Or if you subscribe for six months, 12 months or 24 months, uh, obviously the per month price is a lot lower. And uh, the, uh, the prices, well, in euros, ranges from 12 euros a month if you just uh, purchase the month or it goes all the way down 5 euros a month if you take it for 12 or 24 months. Uh, and for schools, uh, it can be as little as uh, 2 euros per month per, uh, per learner um, for orders of uh, 100 uh, licenses or above. And uh, what the, the way we design the school pricing is that, um, and again, you know, you can choose uh, whatever duration. So let's say that you want to start in January, and your uh, class ends, uh, you know, and then just purchase a six-month uh, duration period. Uh, and um, we, you know, for a whole year, nine months, um, we we want this to be really comparable to the cost of a workbook. So it will, it will certainly not be more expensive than your average uh, EFL workbook. Thanks, everyone. Um, any other questions? Uh, it's really great having you as an audience. Uh, very silent audience. Very strange to be speaking with you one way like this. But um, but you, you you're asking. You're making great comments and asking great questions. Yeah. A week. So we the the we we classify the videos by uh, category. So by 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 by, by theme. And by difficulty, so you could do a cross search. You could say, "Show me all uh, all business videos which are intermediate. Show me all how-to videos which are beginner. Show me all uh, entertainment, uh, comedy, uh, movie uh, videos which are advanced, and so on." Yeah, and and please do contact me by email or any other way uh, if you have any questions or. Um, or, or, or suggestions or feedback on the site or or want to find more about it uh, for your school and uh, by all means on Facebook we uh, we celebrated the fact that we, we, we passed 100,000 uh, fans just uh, this weekend and just now since the weekend we were, were at 110,000 so we're very fat very 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 happy and and uh, our Facebook page is where we post some things about the site, some things about the free content, but also other other items of interest for uh, for learners or teachers of English. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you too. <laughs> very, very very nice thought. Very nice thought. So um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Well, uh, whatever religion or uh, or whatever it is that you have uh, to be thankful for, uh, and um, it's been a great experience really enjoyed it and uh, and of course uh, tell all your friends about it tell all your teacher colleagues about it have a look at our blog because we've been posting um, articles about our pedagogical approach for about uh, three and a half years now so there's quite a lot uh, in there about all kinds of subjects uh, uh, pronunciation vocabulary uh, slang um, everything you'll, you'll, you'll find if you're if you're really interested in, in 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 this approach to learning, you'll find a lot of interesting things in the blog. Okay, and we're very interested in working with you, cool, um, on on multi. Multi. Um,